Do you ever have that person in your life that you bring them into your art studio and you say, hey, look at this painting. I've been working on it and I'm really excited about it. And all they can do is stare at your painter's palette. Well, today, I'm actually gonna be getting rid of that, but for a completely different reason. So, if you're interested, here we go. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about why you need to, and I am going to, throw your old traditional painter's palette in the trash. Or, if you're me, I'm going to be giving it to my sister, who is that person that when they walk into my art studio, all they can do is stare at my painter's palette because it looks like this. Now the reason why I'm going to be getting rid of my painter's palette is a very simple reason. And I've noticed this when I'm trying to paint a portrait of something, and I'm trying to get skin tones correct. It's very difficult to be able to mix colors together to accurately um, execute or um, achieve the right skin tone on a person. I'm actually working on one right now that has been very difficult for me to get the right color skin tones. And when you're painting on something that is giving you a false reading of how bright or dark the color is, it makes it even harder. And the reason is, is most paints are actually transparent and are very greatly affected by what color is underneath them. So when I'm painting something and I'm trying to mix colors on top of this, I am get all kinds of colors here. And it really kind of messes me up when I'm trying to figure out how bright or dark the color is. So I was actually on YouTube watching one of my favorite painters, Andrew Tischler, and he actually talked about this and basically spurred the idea of the fact that I need to change up the way I'm doing my painter's palette. So what I've done is instead of using a traditional painter's palette, I've kind of found a different way. And I actually did it on the way to the garbage can. And this is my new painter's palette. You may be wondering what in the world this is. And this is actually a piece of glass and I found it in the trash can, washed it off. It's actually in really good shape. And I painted the back of it a kind of middle of the road gray color. And the front of it is normal glass. The reason why I did this is on the back, you have the gray color and on the front, you can put your colors like this. And when you're done, you can just scrape them off. The reason why that's important is you, you won't have to ever paint on top of this. You can get an accurate gauge off of what color you're trying to mix by painting on this gray color. It's very simple to make. And right now it's a little bit heavy and I'm gonna be kind of lugging it around. But in the future, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this to like a rolling chair desk, like a little desk that I'm gonna make so that I can move this around and I'm gonna build myself um, a little painter's like desk that you can roll around. It's basically a painter's palette that's got a lot more stuff on it. And I won't have to worry about having this as a problem. And I won't have to worry about all of these different colors messing with my portraits and things like that. And I don't know, have you guys ever had a problem with this? Because I know I definitely have. And this has been working pretty well for me so far. And this is going to be history or a piece of art, which I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. All right, so that's basically it. Another little short video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I just did a little Q&A last night in a totally different light. So this is the other light that I was talking about as far as my studio setup. So thank you guys, everyone that commented in last night's video, and I really appreciate that. I read all of them. Some of you guys actually gave some really good tips and advice and I will be doing some of those things. Yeah, that's about it for today. I got short video fever for some reason, so hopefully I'll be coming out with some more in-depth tutorials. If you want one specifically, leave it in the comments. And as always, peace out. Do you have any idea how annoying it is to be sitting there working all day and night? on a piece of art and painting, and you're like, ooh, this is so good. And then they walk in and they care about this. Really? This? Looks like a blind man couldn't figure out where the easel was. Oh well, 
I mean, to each his own. Mm -hmm.